name is Anika Mangum and I'm on the streets of Betty's Ford. I'm here today asking the people a couple of questions about the CMS bond issue. So let's get into it. So, hi, my name is Anuket Mangum and I'm here today with... This is Mary Speeches. And so I'm just going to ask you a couple of questions about the school system. So, um, how do you feel, um, do you feel that um, a rundown environment can affect the student's ability to learn? I definitely do. I think it's important to have a positive work environment with good technology, good computers, positive teachers, all of that definitely affects the student's learning abilities. Describe the learning environment in New York. Do they have rundown buildings? If so, can you explain? Sure. Well, I was fortunate enough to attend private school and we did have a, a very well put together school. I know the public schools were also very well put together. They had nice gyms, good classrooms, even good desks. I think that makes a difference as well. So hopefully North Carolina can improve their situation as well. All right, thank you. Sure. Hey, hello, my name is Anuki Mangum and, and I'm here today with... Ernest Ike. So what high school did you attend? I went to West Charlotte, 1993. Wow, you guys, he's alumni of West Charlotte. That's amazing. So back in the day, how did it, like, what was your learning environment like? How was it in West Charlotte, going to West Charlotte? When I went to West Charlotte, we were kind of um, the example that they tried to set of what a good school could be. So we had all kinds of programs. We had English as a second language. We had um, additional programs for um, pregnant mothers that wanted to stay in school. We had auto shop, we had lifeguard, we had lots of foreign languages, um, top-notch physics classes. The physics building was brand new. Right? The lower physics building was brand new when I went there. Um, so we had a really extensive programs in, in a lot of different directions and good community involvement too, which I think made a huge difference. So I didn't know that West Charlotte um, had a lot of these programs back in the day, um, but how do you feel about the CMS bond issue uh, about rebuilding the school and um, how do you feel, how does you, do you think that the um, learning environment affects the students' ability to learn? Uh, it's a huge effect. The, the environment that you're sitting in affects even as simple as can you pay attention to what the teacher's telling you. Um, I, I know that I moved away for about 20 years from Charlotte between going to North Carolina State and then living around the country. And when I came back five years ago, I was shocked at the difference in the school that I had gone to. You know, I had gone to a school that was like the crowning jewel of the system. And then I came back and I find out that the buildings are crumbling. I, like, do they even treat the swimming pool? I don't know. But I do know that a lot of it is, seems to have been forgotten about for some reason. So I'm excited to see that there's a school bond issue. I'm really glad that West Charlotte is under consideration for some attention that has been neglected for so long. But I'm looking forward to hopefully seeing that pass and seeing something good and new happen. So how do you feel about, do you feel that the environment of the students at the building is really going down? Do you feel like that's a good one? I understand that it's, that some people may say it's all history or something like that, but sometimes it's just not right to come to a rundown school because we're already in a situation where our schools aren't really treated fairly in this area. So we need to get this issue solved. So do you feel like um, the learning environment, if it's run down, do you feel like that plays a huge role in um, shaping the, um, I mean, 
um, the student's learning ability. Uh, yes, and it also depicts our reputation as a whole school. And if we're all run down, then people are going to say, oh, blah, 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 we're in the projects or something like that. We're in the hood. This is 2017. It's not 1938 anymore. All right, so you feel like um, we are looked down because our school is so run down and so old? Not only is it run down, but we're also predominantly African American as a whole school. So we need to get that solved quickly before time runs out. Hello, my name is Anukit Mangum and I'm here today with Alexis. If a building is run down, how do you feel? Does that affect the, um, the students' learning, I mean the students' ability to learn? Yes, I go to West Charlotte myself and whenever I'm trying to pay attention and I see something that's, that's um, run down, I keep looking at it. I can't focus. But I try my best to do good at school. So I didn't get cross bust. West Charlotte was my school. I love it and I always will. It's where I went. I, I hope my kids can go there if I'm lucky enough to have some. But for now, We've got to start treating all the schools as if your kid goes to it. If a school's not good enough for your kid, why is it good enough for another kid? All right, this concludes our Talk on the Streets with Dub C T.